Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. I'm the director of the McDougall program. And, you know, I've been very interested in bowel problems for my whole career. After all, I'm a doctor and after all, you're patients and these are common problems that you have. But there are some things that are caused by problems with your bowels that I bet you never connected, like varicose veins, like a prolapsed uterus, like a hiatal hernia. How in the world would these be connected to the bowels? Well, the way they're connected to the bowels is because of severe straining that people go through to pass the constipated, rock-hard, tiny American stool. When you eat the Western diet, it has very little fiber in it, as I talked to you about, and as a result, you get this tiny little fecal mass that takes great effort to pass out of the body. You know the grunting and groaning and straining that takes people, place when people sit on the throne? Well, what happens when you do all that pressure is you push blood into your face and your face turns red. You push blood into the hemorrhoidal veins and they get stretched out and you get hemorrhoids. We well, also push blood into your legs and the veins in your legs and these veins, they get dilated. And there are little valves in those veins that, uh, that uh, occur as they move from the feet up to the heart. These little valves prevent the blood from flowing back down towards the feet. So as you walk, what happens is the blood gets forced up through the valves. The valves close so that the blood can't get back down. That's the way it's supposed to work. It interrupts the column of blood. But when you grunt and groan and strain for years to pass the constipated American stool, you put so much pressure on those veins that you ruin the competency of the valves. And as a result, the veins dilate. And then we have the blue worms on the legs. And we call those varicose veins. Well, that same straining puts great pressure on the ligaments that hold the uterus for a woman. And as a result of all that straining from constipation, she pushes her uterus over the years down into her vagina. And it sometimes hangs out, and that's how you get a prolapsed uterus. When you grunt and groan and strain, you're taking, you push the stomach up into the diaphragm. The diaphragm is the muscle that separates the abdomen from the chest. And there's a hole through which the esophagus passes. And when you grunt and groan and strain, you push the stomach up through that hole and you dilate it. And a dilated muscle is called a hernia. That's how you get a hiatus hernia. Now, these are permanent structural changes. They can't be fixed by changing your diet. They can be fixed in part by a surgeon, but that's a last resort. If you just change what you eat, then you can slow or stop the progression of these particular pro structural problems. You can get rid of the pain related to a hiatal hernia. And that's the initial step that you should take. Certainly, all these problems can be pre prevented. And with some simple dietary change, you can get rid of a lot of the symptoms and stop the progression of these common problems that I bet you never thought were related to your bowels. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you for listening. Thank you.